Hello, hop good eagles. Miss Abby here. I wanted to give you one more update from the garden this December before you go on your winter break. So follow me. I'm gonna start out over here by the production garden. Right now I'm standing in front of some a beautiful passion vine. We'll be seeing flowers in a couple months. I'm gonna walk you through the production garden and we'll head over because we have something going on in the learning garden today as well. So first bed, this is right by where I was standing. First bed here is full of cauliflower seedlings. They're growing really nicely. No cauliflower yet. But you can tell next to my hand, they're getting pretty big. Growing very, very healthy, nice leaves. I don't see any signs of any pests. That means we have some really, really good soil with a lot of excellent nutrients. Look at that cauliflower. Let's go over here to the next bed this bed maybe not quite as much of a mystery as the cauliflower would have been does anyone recognize this plant with the curly leaves on it anybody starts with a k so this bed is all kale right next to it here some of these are still waiting to sprout but these are sugar snap peas and they're going to climb up on these tomato cages Very next bed, as you can see, is cabbage. Again, you can't quite tell what they are yet, but they are getting really, really nice and big. I love it in the morning after they've been watered, the water droplets on there. Again, we have really healthy leaves. I don't see any signs of any kind of pest eating them. I think they're really, really happy here in our production garden. next bed over here another nice winter crop that's very happy in the garden looks pretty similar to the cauliflower but a little greener a little bit different leaves this one is broccoli so these are all some nice broccoli plants coming up doing really well head over this is my favorite part of this garden now are these hydroponic tower gardens. We actually have some things sprouting in them right now. Miss Jan planted some of these. There, you get it to focus. Down here is some Swiss chard. Over here, we have some romaine lettuce, also planted by Miss Jan, doing really well. One spinach. The spinach has taken a little longer to come up. We have this one. Very, very little. It's not lettuce. I don't know if any of you can tell what it is yet. If you look at those leaves, something we all like to have on our tacos and our burritos on top of a salad. That is cilantro coming up. This one was just planted by some amazing pair of volunteers last Wednesday. They're already sprouting. These are all some lettuces in this tower. Over here we have some more, some romaine lettuce, little tiny sprouts coming up. That one is going to be some Swiss chard and spinach. It's not sprouted quite yet. And then over here, some romaine lettuce sprouts. This one is going to all be more cilantro. So let's just sit for a minute and listen to them running. I love to hear these running. Really relaxing to come over here and listen to these run. So a little, little tiny bit how these work. Let's see if I can kind of show you. They're called Lettuce Grow is the company that makes them. Open this, get the inside, see water flowing down. See that pipe right in the middle? There's that pipe going up. So down in the bottom, you can't see right now, there's a pump down in the bottom that's plugged in with this electric cord. And that pump brings the water up all the way to the very top of these. All the way up to here. If I took this off, water would spray out and get me all wet. So the water comes out and it trickles down and keeps all of these nice and watered and wet. 
And then once a week, we add some nutrients to keep them growing well and keep them healthy because they're just in these little cups. If I pull one out, they're just in these little cups. There's the roots on this little plant. And the water is just running. I you can see it too well. A little tricky. But the water runs right by that. Okay. Come over here. There is a lettuce that got planted a little over a month ago, doing really well. I'm actually going to come harvest this Friday. It's going to go home with lunches. So if you're doing a pickup Friday, you're going to get one of these beautiful lettuce plants in there. There's four beds full of them. Right here, right over here. And you can see there's three different kinds of lettuce. This one right here is a red leaf lettuce. The taller one in the middle, see how it's kind of tall? That's a romaine lettuce. If you like Caesar salads, that's what you have in the Caesar salad. This one is a beautiful green leaf lettuce. This one also makes a great salad as well as the red one. And they go beautifully on a burger. They can be used for a, a wrap, any of them. If any of you remember doing the plant part taco recipe, all of these can be used for the plant part tacos. So that is the production garden update. I'm gonna head over to the learning garden in a minute and update you on that one as well. But until next time, Production Garden, we will see you in January 2021. All right, I am back over here at the Learning Garden. Looking a little bare right now, just because we just cleared all our old summer crops out. Remember, these three here were all full of corn and squash and the three sisters. This one had cabbage in it. That one had kale and cucumbers. That one over there was full of tomatoes. This one over here had beans and acorn squash. Or, yeah, I think it was acorn squash in there. In fact, I spy one a runaway over here on the ground. I think it's still good. It's yellow, but that's from the cold, so it might still be good. It's a little soft. We'll see. I might take it home and look at it. So here's the rest of our garden. There's our stump circle. I miss this stump circle being full of all you students in here. One of these days we'll be back, though. A little tour through the rest of the garden. Our fig tree pomegranates, this is our apricot tree, another pomegranate bush, apple trees, and another apple tree. Look at all the apples on here. Little baby apples. These are the golden delicious had a lot a lot of those given out with lunch earlier this school year and then that one is the pineapple guava so if you see these beds they're kind of low the soil should be up a bit higher in these see how low those are getting this one especially soil levels really low this one over here did just get topped off recently with the last of the soil from our past donation so that one's good but all the rest are going to need some more. So you're probably wondering about that, right? Why does the soil change? Why does it get lower? So if you think about it for a minute, try to see if you can figure out why, and then I'm going to explain it to you. So in these gardens, this is what I wanted to explain. I gave you a minute let you guys think about it a little bit. So if you kind of think about if you're going to the beach or the park and you're playing in some sand and that sand's dry, it's kind of big, it's a big mountain. But if you start packing it down or if you pour water on that sand, 
it flattens out a little, right? It gets a little bit packed down. So with this soil, when we start with some light, light fluffy, dry soil, and then we start um, adding water, we have the sprinklers going, we're watering the gardens a bunch, that soil's gonna settle like the sand. It's gonna flatten out and it's gonna get a little bit lower in the bed. That's part of why when we start a new crop, and I've talked to you guys about that's why we have to fluff the soil up and loosen it up again because when it's packed like that, it's harder for the roots to spread out and the plants to grow big. Hey, hey guys, guess what? While I was at the garden, we had a special guest come. So I have an exclusive interview with this special guest that came to the garden to bring us something really awesome to use in the garden. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Austin from Ingle and Gray. I brought you guys some of our Harvest Blend compost today for your school garden. Uh, what mainly goes into our Harvest Blend compost is the green waste that you guys put in your uh, green cans outside when the, uh, the trash guy comes and picks it up. And then he takes it all the way to our compost facility. And then once he's there, he grinds up, or we grind up all the green waste, and then we put it into big piles and we let it sit for a little bit and heat up. And then we bring a big machine called a scarab that turns it and mixes it all up. And after about 120 days of going through different heat cycles and uh, biological processes, you end up with this uh, compost that's full of nutrients and organic matter that helps you guys uh, grow the plants that you got here. All right, thank you. So that's my check-in for today for December of 2020. I will be checking back in with you all when you return in January of 2021 back to school. I'll show you how the garden is doing. Probably gonna look a bit different than right now with just the dirt in the beds. They will probably have some stuff growing in them and sprouting in them. It's gonna be really exciting. I'm gonna be planting the, more of those crops that all of you voted for a couple months ago. So until next year, everyone have a good holiday and happy new year. Bye from Have Good Garden.